Hey guys, this is Epic Jolster, and I'd first like to apologize because the lighting isn't the best right here, but I'm here with Jenny, and she is wearing this, um, this goldish circle skirt, and you can't tell here, but it is gold, and I'm going to show you how to make this circle skirt, and you can make it any color, and it's a no-so project you can make in five minutes. I literally just made it up and made it in five minutes, so let's get into it. So what you need is a permanent marker of some kind, and you're not going to be damaging, you're just going to use it to trace, so it can be anything, really. Something round. I'm going to be using this Easter basket, you can use like any plate or bowl. Just make sure it is large-ish, because the first time I tried this skirt, I made it too small. And you can always make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. Um, you're going to need some sort of stretch knit fabric, and by that I just mean stretchy fabric. Um, I'm using this one that's this shiny gold on one side and this black on another. Um, but it has to be stretchy. And you need scissors. I'm literally using like children's safety scissors. It's not like, it doesn't have to be like sharp scissors. So you're going to start by laying out your fabric, which I have already done. And then you're just going to fold a large section. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I am capable of folding. And we're back, which with much difficulty, I have managed to fold it over. half of your round object on it. It has to be big enough to lay half of it on it. Then you're just going to go ahead and take your permanent marker. I'm using blue, but anything that can just like faintly show up is perfect. And I'm just going to loosely trace around it. Like it doesn't have to be super tight or anything. Just enough so you can see it. So you can't see it, but I can, so then you're going to, I can't right now. So I went ahead and cut mine out, um, and it kind of looks like a golden taco, and I would have cut it out on camera, but the marks are rather hard to see, so I did need to look a bit closer, and I didn't want to mess the skirt up. Um, so once you have it over, sorry. So once you have it cut out, you're going to go ahead and cut a circle in the middle. And I'm going to do that on camera, maybe, probably not. Um, and you can, if you want, get a circular item and trace it out and stuff like that, but I did not find it necessary. And you want to cut small, you can always make it bigger if you need to. So I'm just going to finish cutting it now. Don't worry about that, my tripod may or may not have top of it. So yeah, you are completely done your skirt now. I'm just gonna lay it out. You can see it. Whatever. And the reason it's called a circle skirt is because it is a complete circle if you lay it out. So, the seam in the middle, it's not gonna be like perfect, but you can just go ahead and slip it over your doll. And what I did for Jenny for this skirt, I folded over the edge here to make it a clean edge. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to Epic Jewelster, and comment more if you want more um, clothing videos. See you next time.